Hey, it's Jeff Crampton with Realty One Group. I'm here today at Bandito's Latin Kitchen and Cantina, showing you another place here in Southern Nevada that you've got to do, see, or eat at. Come on in, we'll take a look. I recently heard about this place from some friends of mine. I've actually been here two or three times myself. The food is awesome. I wanted to bring you down and introduce you to this great restaurant. We're going to go in and talk to Kent Harmon, the owner and producer of this awesome place to eat. Kent Harmon. <laughs> Jeff. How are you doing, sir? Good, buddy. Welcome. I am so glad to be here. Let's go check everything out. All right. Come on into Bandito. All right. So, Kent, tell me. This place is amazing. It's beautiful. It's Mexican. I like to think of it as reimagined, but how would you describe it? Um, I guess that's a good way. I wanted it to be different from what everybody's used to with orange walls and the Corona neons around. Right. So we went with a really colorful, modern, um, you know, a little bit different look. It, um, it, we did it to, because we wanted something beautiful. Right. And, and to ignite the senses and be really sexy is what we were going for. It, and we wanted to match our food, too. Is which, there such a thing as industrially elegant? I guess, I guess so. Maybe we invented that category. I, I, but I, I, think you've, I think you've created it here, for sure and for certain. So I, tell me about the artwork and the tile and how you put this all together. Or you and your team put this all yeah, together. Yeah, well, I mean, the artwork, number one, um, we want it to be a major focal point. We wanted to use local artists. Uh -huh. So both of these are done by a local artist um, called Brett Rosepiler. He's a well-known muralist. He's a really well-known tattoo artist, and he did beautiful work. He hand spray painted that whole thing. Um, the rest of it, I mean, you can see there's a lot of red. We wanted, that's a great color for, for restaurants, great color for um, passion. Right. We wanted that um, to be part of it. We brought in the, the, the Mexican tiles. Um, which have got a kind of a modern vibe to it, right? Um, you know, I've I've been told by people that um, there's a lot of places like this in Mexico City and in New York, but they haven't really made it out west here so far. I haven't seen anything like this any place here in town no. or New Mexico or Arizona that I've yeah. been to looking for Mexican food like you've created here. This Thank is you. really terrific. Well, the other part that we're that we're really proud of too is um, you know we've got all this light in here. Uh -huh. We've got a great view of the strip. We've right. also got these pocket doors that open up. Yeah. So when it's not 115 degrees out here, we can have the restaurant have a really in great inside-outside feel to a it. patio feel to it as yeah, well. Yeah, and we'll have the doors be open and, you know, people going from inside to outside. It has a great feeling with that. Right. And right. at night, the strip view out there is, is pretty great. So, so tell me the food. How did you come up with this version of Mexican food? Well, you know what? We wanted, we wanted the classics. You know, we yes. wanted tacos and enchiladas and burritos and fajitas uh, because that's what people are looking for. Right. Um, we also wanted to just take the ingredients that were in there and, and, and kick them up a notch and get really, really high pro quality proteins and ingredients and make a little bit more com um, complex sauces and, um, you know, just take what was already great and then just put our little spin on it. So, Kit. I noticed that one of the cool features about the restaurant is the kitchen is open. Yeah. There's, we, we can see everything that's going on back we there. We wanted that to be the case. We wanted to showcase um, how fresh we're making everything from the tortillas all the way down the line. Um, you know, why don't we go back there and I can show you what's going on. I swear, I was just about to ask, would it be possible to go take a sneak peek? Let's go. I'd love to do that. Thank right. you. Me hungrier. Can, can we can we go outside? Let's and go. Let's go eat some food. Try some food. Let's All go. Right. So now this is the best part of the whole deal. Yeah. What have you got coming for us? Well, I figured since we were just in the kitchen and we um, mm -hmm. saw them put up some ceviche, we'll try that. Okay. And then you love the enchilada, so I, I wonder do. I wanted to bring out a different one that you probably haven't tried yet. Okay. So this looks amazing, but I noticed they only brought enough for you. One. Right. <laughs> this is great. So before I before I dive in and, and make a mess of it, so this is the amazing street corn. That's an amazing off the cob Mexican street corn um, that you're a big fan of. Um, yes. you know, we saw them make it in the kitchen, grill it, cut it off the cob. We mix a little um, garlic confit crema. There's the secret ingredient right there. Ah. Um, and then the fresh cotija cheese on top. That is awesome. Now tell me, I'm going to just take a taste of this before... 
Yeah, that, that's, mm. that's addictive. People come back. Um, and that is just so good. Just like your friend did to you, the, mm -hmm. it, it spreads word of mouth. People come in and say, "My friend told me I had to I try the corn." Try that. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. So, before I before I get into the the enchilada yeah, part, tell me again, the meat is on top of it as opposed to I've never seen it on top before anywhere. Yeah, we just wanted we just wanted you to be able to see the quality of it. I mean, you could see here. This is this is beef slow roasted beef brisket. Mm -hmm. um, it's just you know fall apart um, tender. Yeah, and we wanted to be able to showcase that, and um, so you could just have a bite of that if you wanted, or you know, or mix it in with the sauce and the enchilada. So you get a little bit of everything. You do. Mm -hmm. You get to try different bites too. Right. The um, same with then maybe adding. You could. You could add. This is like a little a little smorgasbord of everything that's on here because you can you can blend everything together. Absolutely. The way that it's served. And you don't have to. You know, you can have different bites and not just the same bite over and over again. Not that there's, you know, anything wrong with that, but we. We just we wanted to showcase so now that was there anything special it was marinated in because it it looks like there's some kind of a sauce or some kind there's of a, a there's a there's a, a homemade um barbecue um spicy mm. chipotle barbecue sauce that's yep. in there you had and, barbecue <laughs> there we go mm -hmm. so you know it's 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 a little t um, twist on a um a, a traditional te texas brisket um, that's been pulled apart mm. all right speaking of speaking of pulling this apart It's got just a little zing to it. Yeah, it's just flavor. Mm. And then you've got a little bit of the habanero sauce on there too, so you're gonna get a little, a little kick with that too. You know what would be great right now, just a, a little um, to cool that down. I'm, a, I'm a gringo at heart, but is there any way we can get a, a drink? Oh, I don't know if we can make. Oh, look at that! Where did you come from? <laughs> what is this? That is our wonderful. Uh, watermelon, we, sandia, um, margarita. Mm -hmm. We make, uh, we break down fresh watermelons every day. Make our own watermelon juice out of it. Then fresh limes, agave nectar, and, and we make a uh, high-end margarita with it for some watermelon balls on top. This is gorgeous. <clears throat> that is uh, one of our house specialties. It's also um, at happy hour. Um, that we have on, on the regular menu. It's twelve dollars at happy hour. It's five. Holy smokes! Yes, you this, can. This come is in. great. Tell me about the ceviche. So the, I wanted um, you to taste this because we saw them putting it up in the back. I mean, this is when we talk about some of the healthy stuff on our menu. This is definitely up that alley. This is all fresh fish that we've marinated in the different citrus with the little ache ote. Oil. So give it a taste, either with a chip or a fork. Oh, you put it on? That's what most people do. Um, I'm going to take a little bite first. But I mean, it's a perfect summer, spring. You should get a lot of uh, citrus. Citrus. Yeah, mm -hmm. big time. Fresh totally. fish, a little bit of heat from the peppers and um, and onions that are in there. And then um, we do a little black sea salt on top for a little, little uh, saltiness. Sir, mm. thank you so much for letting us come in here and, and experience your amazing restaurant. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.